If I go to X Games, I'll be disappointed if I don't win. Absolutely a stellar performance. Jared's a competitor. By Jared McNeil. Growing up racing definitely gave him... Unbelievable! <laughs> ...the ability to handle pressure. He clears it here. This is gold medal. McNeil just going massive! He can whip anything. How does he bring that back? Probably bigger than everyone else's whip. And I was hopefully going to try and get another medal, so get three medals in three events at X Games. Oh, no. Didn't go to plan. Yeah, no, no other animals. Maybe I might get like a miniature donkey or something one day. Good boy! <laughs> Doesn't look like much now, but I'm gonna put an 18 foot quarter in here. The big landing ramp up there, I'm gonna make that into a step up lip so me and Bryce Hudson can get ready for X Games step up. So three events I'll be able to practice in my backyard, which will be pretty cool. I was born in Kerrang, Australia, a little town in the middle of nowhere, population of 3,000 people. Just growing up on a dairy farm, I have an older brother and a younger brother and a sister. We all grew up riding bikes. I mean, I was eight, nine years old. Dad brought an excavator for the farm and it was basically given to me to build tracks. <laughs> so like, I was building motocross tracks at eight years old. <laughs> growing up, I wanted to be a professional racer. So like watching guys like Travis Estrana or like say Nate Adams, these guys that were more like racer influenced and I looked up to that a lot. Like at the races, I was always the guy that loved showing off. If I wasn't winning the race, at least I wanted people to be talking about me after the race going, oh, did you see his whip though? Like that was sick. I was on tour in Australia and I was staying at Blake Williams, Bilko's house. Bilko was like, hey, this kid's gonna come over. He's cool and everything, but he talks a lot. So we got the briefing from, from Bilko. I was probably pretty annoying. I think he was 14 at the time, annoying as heck. I was definitely pretty annoying. Never shut up. <laughs> he didn't stop talking. <laughs> Asking him a million different questions. He was telling me a lot of things, but he was telling me that he was in the championship for uh, Australian. And Bilko had told me like, no, he's, he's really fast. I could just tell Jared wanted it. Almost could guess that I was going to see him on tour in a few years. 2010 came round, Travis came out and they'd seen me practicing. They were like, damn, like those whips were huge. First time I ever met Jared McNeil down in Australia. And I was like, how the heck does this little fella do such big whips? How is he throwing that bike around like he is? What's unique is just that he can whip so easily and anywhere at any time, both directions. I think he just hasn't figured out the no-handed whips, the one-handed takeoff whips, the turn-ups, turn-downs, classic whips. You would think bigger guys could throw a bike around, you know, a 250-pound dirt bike around better, but Jared's has to weigh 130 pounds at the most. He can throw massive whips, and he weighs less than my wife. There was one of the guys coming back from X Games, came back through and Travis was like, you need to keep an eye on this kid. You need to get him in best whip. Sure enough, that guy came and watched. I, there's a couple months that went by where we didn't hear anything and he probably called me three times a day. <laughs> like, you know, hey, am I in, am I in? I'm like, I don't, I don't know, you did great though, man. It was like probably two weeks, three weeks before X Games. I remember getting a call from him just saying, hey dude, like pack your bags. You've got an invite to X Games. Pretty blown away just because as a young kid, like that was my first, like why me? Why why me out of all the kids that ride motorcycles? I come from middle of nowhere, Australia, like why me? It's kind of funny just like going from 2007 to 2010, those years were like the real crucial years of my career. In those years, my career was going racing or freestyle. You're good at whips, what are you gonna be good at? And then I kind of like figured out what I wanted to do. I think that was like the time when I realized where I was going. My dad was like, what are you doing? Like, you want to do freestyle? You want to be a freestyler? You've trained so hard to be a racer. When the ball started rolling, he's seen how much better of an opportunity it was for me to go freestyle, and it all paid off. Welcome to the Staples Center, people. It is time for the best whip competition. I was nervous about riding in front of a massive stadium, in front of thousands of people on ESPN. If you've never had a, a camera in your face and someone telling you three, two, one, and point to go. It's different than going when you want to go or you're in the, at the local spot with your homies and... Oh! Oh, make me go from like these small Supercross shows that we have in Australia to then being on the main stage, being a rider in 
X Games, I was pretty blown away. <laughs> Just coming here, I didn't really know what to expect or where I stacked up against the other, like the competition, and I was nervous as hell. Yeah, oh, oh, Jared McNeil. Oh my I'm impressed. I'm wish I could do that. I was stoked to get a silver my first year. Going back year after year, I knew that I could win it. Jared's a competitor. I feel like an X Games gold medal was a long time coming for Jared McNeil. McNeil just going massive. Mike. This is a guy that has wanted that for his whole life. Since he told his dad, I'm not gonna race motocross anymore. I'm gonna go be a professional freestyle rider. Jared McNeil stomping everyone. I think winning X Games 2015 best whip was awesome. If I had a won it the first year, the second year, third year, Maybe it wouldn't have been as fun, but the years that it took, like the hard work it took to be, to ride in America, to fit in with the riders, to finally get a gold medal. Really brings a unique style when you talk about Jared McNeil. X Games 2016 step up was my first year in it. I have the best body build for that event. Like I'm small, I can whip a bike, like I'm good at starts. Like I, that event is like perfect for me. That's like my favorite event. First couple of jumps out, people you know just jump the jump. I just send it the first one because it's like how high are you gonna go? That's how high we're gonna go. He looks smooth, controlled, confident. If I go out there, I'm gonna just send it all day long as high as I can possibly go for the bar to catch up to me. Whoa! How did he do that? To be able to get a gold in my first step up, and then to be able to win it on a two-stroke being underpowered, they were like two of the best achievements ever. Right now, it's time for the Moto X Quarter Pipe. This is a new event to the X Games. Quarter Pipe? I was actually really confident. The Quarter Pipe is probably the most dangerous sport. There you go. Oh. But it's also one of the most breathtaking and exciting. You can just see the commitment from all these guys right as they take off. These guys are boosting that Quarter Pipe. It's insane how big they go out of it. Here we go. Oh my goodness. And I was confident I'd do really well. I was confident to win it, really. Pretty successful weekend with a, with a silver in best whip and then a gold in step up. And I was hopefully gonna try and get another medal, so get three medals that uh, didn't go to plan. See what he does? Oh, wow. Oh. oh, no. No way. Oh, massive. Oh, just blew his hand off, it looks like, right when he landed. Landed probably just a little bit heavy and just slipped my grip and just blew my hand off and next thing you know I was just ragdolling across the ground, dislocated my hip. You know you're hurt, you immediately know you're broken and things like that. You're bummed, I mean the dream's gone for that day, for that year, you know how long is it going to take? Thinking about sponsors, if they're bummed, if you're going to lose them, on the ground right then and there, how am I going to pay my bills? There goes all the money I would have won if I won this, and now I got the opposite. How am I going to keep riding my motorcycle for the next couple years? Uh, it's you know it's the sport we chose. It's no one else's fault but our own. But at the same time, I definitely uh, I definitely feel for riders when they're injured, especially if it's really bad. This sport will make or break you financially because one minute you'll be on top of the world, the next you won't. Had a lot of time off the bike, a lot of time to like gather my thoughts and think about riding and what I wanted to do as a rider. And as much as it sucks to crash and be hurt, that one event actually helped me probably a lot with this year with a lot of things. There's something about that break that relights you, re re-motivates you, kind of reset you and let you know what's what's truly important again. And... We all ride dirt bikes because we love riding dirt bikes. We love putting a smile on people's faces. We love what we do and I wouldn't want to wake up any other day doing what I love doing. Can't wait to go back and redeem myself. Gonna build this quarter pipe in the backyard and get a lot of practice on it, get confident with it again, get, get those butterflies out of my belly and try and get my bike on the podium. And I know he really wants to redeem himself this year. X Games means everything to me. And I think after Jared's hip and knee injury, I think he's pretty pissed and I think he's ready to Light him up. <laughs> I want to show people that I still have what it takes, and so I'm going to go back and try my best and kind of try and defend my gold. That's what I want to do. And now we're going down under to Australia. We're getting to go back to where it all started for me. So getting back on there and performing and doing what I have to do, can't wait. It's going to be sick.